Tasha, my name is Heather Ann Hendrickson. I'm a team leader and educational services representative with Us Four Books and More, and I'm excited that you're coming to Denise's squee party tonight for books. I can't wait to share these books with you. I know that you said that Kason really doesn't like reading. Let's try to find him some books that will really engage him. We're going to share some really engaging books tonight. I cannot wait to do that with you guys tonight. Um, that is something that's super, super fun for me, and my kid did not like reading until he really got into some of these nonfiction engaging books. So it's all about finding the books that will pull them out that they're actually interested in. And it could be that they're interested in construction. Well, we have books on that that are actually at a level high enough where the kids can really get into it, but at a low enough reading level where they can understand it. So that's the key. Present the information up here or Take information that's really high, lots and lots of information that's really, really great information, and present it in a way that younger kids can understand. So I pulled four series um, of chapter books that I'm thinking that they may he may be interested in. This is Billy and the Mini Monsters. Billy and the Mini Monsters is actually a comic strip, uh, similar to a comic strip, and it is fantastic. Only the first one needs to be read um, in order, and the rest in the series can be read in any order. It's great. My son, who is also seven, almost eight, he turns eight in July, he loves this series, and I love it because he can read it to his younger sister, and it works perfect. So Billy and the Mini Monsters for the win for me. Another series that's really caught his eye, um, although he is starting to, um, he's not quite there yet for reading it. Um, his reading level is lower, but Game Day is actually from Patty Mills. He is a, a NBA player from Australia, and he actually has written a chapter book series about himself and how he grew up. So it's a really engaging, interesting book series. Um, lots of fun in there and very relatable to young kids. This one is probably one of my son's favorite series. This is the Bear Girls Adventure series. We have so many in here, but this happens to be Sea Challenge. It's one of his favorites. Every character in these books has some sort of character flaw, and they get a magic compass at camp, and this magic compass transports them to be with Bear Girls by themselves. And the whole idea is for these kids to actually um, learn how to overcome their character flaw. And it's such a great book. I love all of the ones in this series. Last but not least, this is our newest series. This is Vlad. This has the world's worst vampire. And he actually starts to go to a human school because he wants to find friends. And he's not very friends with very many of his, um, of his uh, class, of his vampire surroundings. And so I just got this book in last week and I started reading it. I cannot wait to give it to my son. Shh, it's a surprise. But this one is super, super fun and I cannot wait for him to start reading it. Okay. But like I said, it's more about getting them engaged with what they're reading. So what are the, what's he interested in? One of the things my son is really interested in is space. And so we have 100 things to know about series. And in fact, this is planet earth, but we have ones on space. Each page is different, okay? And in fact, this one, Deserts Bloom with Flowers. Did you know that? Well, it talks about why that happens a little bit and it gives you some facts in here, but they're short. Look at this. Not very much information on every page. It gives such great information as far as stuff that we really don't think about. How about shyness? Prevents some treats from touching. How cool is that? That's why the rays of lights come through. Um, it gives great factual information, and it's super fun. My, like I said, my son is a space nut. He loves space. And the space one, which has mysteriously disappeared, is actually um, one of the ones that he actually started to learn how to uh, read graphs and read infographics from even before he could really truly read. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about Lift the Flat books. In fact, we have multiple Lift the Flat books for pretty much any and every understanding level as far as any and every interest that you might have. We'll see lots of them tonight, but the thing that I like about our flat books, and my son started on these very early, um, the thing that I like about our flat books is it gives small chunks of information. He's not having to read a whole wall of information, which is super important. So take these, take some thoughts from these, and we'll check out some more books. You'll be able to make a favorites list tonight, and you'll get it mailed to you through email or text. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day.